How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a brewery I've never reviewed before, which is kind of weird, but I'm happy to be doing it now. And it's a Doppelbach, so I'm extra happy. This would be Augustiner Brewing. This is their Maximator Stark Beer, so a Doppelbach. Um, yeah. They're from Munich, Germany. One of the uh, semi-OGs. 7.5% alcohol by volume. I love this label. Look at that goddamn label. Foil top. The only thing is I picked this up today. And weirdly enough, I picked it up. Let's just open it up and I'll pour it and talk about it later. Um, weirdly enough, like I bought, I got this at like a place that has probably had it for like a long time. Just never knew they had it. So there's this little bottle shop I go to on my way home. It's in Stroudsburg. Um, and, you know, they have cases of beer and they have, you know, a couple fridges full of like, you know, whatever beer. And that, that whole big expanse of space of Bud Light and Coors Light and stuff. I just never went over there. I was like, I'm not going over there. I'm like, I don't really want anything. But then I got it up my butt. I actually wanted to, uh, I wanted to see if I can find some uh, Labatt dry hop Labatt or whatever it is, Labatt Citra, <laughs> just because I wanted to try. So I went over there and this dude never explored. And there's over in the corner is this section of all this German and, and, and Belgian stuff. I was like, holy shit. And this was there. I was like, okay, Doppelbach sold. Looks the part of Doppelbach dissipating real quick. I'm going to talk too long, so the head's not going to be there. Um, and I saw this barcode down here, or lot number, or bottle number, or whatever. I was like, what is this? And I tried to decipher it. I was like, is it that? Is it uh, 2014? No, it can't be 2014. And I looked online. Can't find anything about it. I have no idea how Augustiner dates their beers. Um, I think they actually started doing, like, lot numbers on their beers. Uh, I want to say, like, in 2019 or 20, so it's not that old. Anyway. Yeah. There's an absolute gentlest murk ring on this. So it's probably a year and a half old. We'll see what's what. Label-wise, fantastic. Beer-wise, a little bit lighter than what I want my doppel box to look like. But we're definitely in the same ballpark, that rich mahogany in color. As far as that head goes, you know, nice khaki color, man. Just south of that malt, malt ball color. So, yeah. Let's get a nose. Oh, yeah. It's probably just a skosh warmer than I would typically drink it. I like my doppel box. Usually just start right around 50. This is probably closer to 55. And it smells really awesome. I mean, it's rich, sweet, brown sugar caramel kind of combo kind of going on. It's, it, 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 it's very rich. Very much kind of desserty, bready in the way it kind of comes off. And that just leads the way. So, yeah, get a little bit of caramel. Brown sugar, definitely, maybe a drop of blackstrap molasses for a little bit. Not not a spiciness, but something just this is not straight up sweet. Oh, man, that smells like dessert right there. Good God. Almost gets to a point on its sweetness. It kind of it kind of almost graduates from Doppelbach to like double. Because it almost smells like it has like a candy sugar and added sweetness to it. But not overly sweet. It's coming off nice and rich and delectable. At least on the nose. Man, that smells so good. Oh, sweet on sweet on sweet, brown bready notes, um, cake, those kind of things, but not in a in, in, in not in an Americanized sweet kind of way. Like think dessert, think European dessert, like stuff that's not sweet on sweet on sweet. It's more of a adulty kind of sweet. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's delicious. That is absolutely one hundred percent delicious. Man, that's good. Good God. Listen, when I talk, talk about Doppelbox, one of my favorite things for Doppelbox is to have a murkiness to it, a density to it. Like, this beer is clear beer. I mean, it doesn't look that way because how dark it is, but it's clear beer. I can see through it easy. And more often than not, for me, that ends up being the Doppelbox. It's going to come off a little bit light. You know, I want a little bit of density to it, a little bit of murk, a little bit of haze. Kind of like, you know, I think um, Eyinger, um, you know, Celebrator um, is what I was thinking of. And um, I like that. Even Corbinian from um, One Hand Savannah, right? Corbinian? They make Corbinian, right? Anyway. <clears throat> this beer is just fantastic. It's actually, like, re making me rethink the color SRM and the clarity of what really makes the box delicious because this lacks the darkness, 
lacks that, I'm not talking like hazy level turbidity, but just soft turbidity to it, soft haziness to it. It just drinks like it's that kind of beer. And it has me all kinds of, you know, mixed up about about this beer and what to think about it because it's clear, light Doppelbach that drinks like a 10% like hefty hazy. Man, it's delicious. It's those rich brown sugar breading notes. I mean, it does have that caramel I'll talk about. It definitely has that little dollop of kind of black trap spiciness. But it is more of that brown sugar, but in a very kind of caramelized, it's not caramel, but caramelized kind of brown sugar kind of way and then like a desserty kind of bread. Got a little bit of spiciness to it. Really beautiful mouthfeel. This is fantastic. This is M effing fantastic. So this is imported in King of Prussia. Why am I not drinking more of these, man? It's imported in PA. Come on now. This is fantastic. This is one of the best apple blocks I've ever had. <laughs> Let's put it that way. This is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful in-style beer that has just proven me so wrong on so many things that I've held as definites for me to really enjoy Doppelbach. More specifically, as I said, the the, uh, the clarity, the density, the color, and just comes off of this rich, delicious, delicious, beautiful drinking Doppelbach with one of the better bottles. Look at, that's creepy shit. That's like, that's like creepy. I know they don't mean it to look creepy, but when you give me Joker level color kind of popey stuff going on and call it Maximator, yeah, that's like, yeah, anyway. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I mean, because it really is that spicy, kind of bready, desserty breadiness. Beautiful mouthfeel. Is this one of the better double box of that as well? Yes. Mount Rushmore status. Easy. Easy. Valued availability on it. $15 American for a six pack. Not a four pack. A six for all day. Leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like double box. Feel like dark beers, German beers, like creepy labels in a beautiful way. You like colors of the Joker. You like this beer. So there you go. Review on the books. Not great review. I just kept saying the same same things over and over again. I just couldn't help myself because it's just delicious, and I just want to drink it. Uh, down there, if you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, let me know if you've had this, please. Uh, beer massif. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, enjoying a little maximator right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.